La loi sur les mesures d'urgence, on n'a pas besoin de ça. Ottawa vient se mêler de nos affaires. C'est clair, pour terminer, la manifestation illégale à l'extérieur d'ici, on a besoin des, des nouveaux pouvoirs de, de, de s'assurer qu'on peut continuer avec la vie normale. Alors, c'est évident avec les, le blocage sur, sur les frontières que le nouveau pouvoir sont effectés parce que on, on a l'habilité de continuer euh, le, le mouvement normal sur les frontières et je pense que ça c'est l'évidence généralement euh, qu'il euh, y a un impact euh, et, euh, sur, euh, sur la manifestation. I'll be speaking as soon as I come out of caucus. I just need to speak with caucus. Pendant combien de temps? On doit s'attendre à des changements concrets dans les rues d'Ottawa. Euh, alors, euh, c'est important de réduire les tensions, c'est important de continuer avec une approche à qui, euh, euh, qui l'utilisait, euh, le, le nouveau pouvoir, euh, euh, le pouvoir euh, financier, euh, et euh, je pense qu'il euh, 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 va y avoir un impact avec ça, et on doit euh, attendre euh, avec patience pour euh, cette mesure de, de marché, à mon avis. Vous avez des on n'a pas fait déjà preuve de patience, vous dites qu'il faut faire ça. Non, non, euh, alors, je suis tanné avec la manifestation, et je comprends bien si, si c'est difficile pour moi, j'imagine que c'est presque impossible pour les personnes qui habitent à Ottawa. Et c'est le temps pour les personnes de quitter. Mais on a besoin d'une une, une termination de l'événement à l'extérieur sans violence. Et ça, c'est tellement vous important. Est-ce que la semaine prochaine, prochaine c'est pas censé siéger? Oui. Vous pourrez siéger la semaine prochaine pour débattre? Euh, oui, euh, je vais parler euh, sur ça immédiatement après le caucus, parce que je dois parler avec le caucus. So, après le caucus, je vais parler sur Donc, ça. Donc, vous en parlez. Oui, look, uh, look the, uh, as I said to opposition uh, House leaders uh, yesterday, uh, we are compiling everything and getting it to them as soon as possible. Uh, it's important to note that these measures have never been used. They were uh, created in 1988. Uh, and they come with them a number of different complexities. Uh, and we want to make sure, before we hand them to the opposition parties, uh, that, uh, that they are in the proper form and that they have been properly vetted. Uh, and so uh, those will be coming to them very soon. I'll be speaking to the specifics of when that will occur. As soon as I come out of caucus, I have to speak to my caucus. Yeah, but can I say, can I C'est mon objet. Je vais parler sur ça. Bonjour tout le monde. Écoutez, on a maintenant donné plus d'outils aux forces de l'ordre, à la police locale, aux partenaires à, à l'OPP et la GRC. Euh, pour pouvoir euh, commencer leurs actions. Et évidemment, euh, ce n'est pas les politiciens qui décident euh, qu'est-ce que les, euh, politi les policiers, quand et comment les policiers doivent agir, mais on leur a donné beaucoup plus d'outils. On espère qu'ils vont pouvoir les utiliser. En face du Parlement qui font le party, oui. les gens du Canada euh, qui regardent ça, qui sont en euh, faveur de ce qui se passe, en ont assez et trouvent qu'on est en Tout train de rire de ce qui se passe à Ottawa. Tout à fait. Est-ce que je, je, je sens qu'il n'y a pas nécessairement une grande impatience de votre côté. Au contraire, je viens juste d'amener pour la première fois dans l'histoire du Canada la loi sur les mesures d'urgence pour donner des outils financiers, des outils concrets euh, à, au service de l'ordre, de pouvoir euh, s'assurer que ces barricades finissent. Il est temps que ça finisse. Ça. Do you think you need to use force to get rid of the protesters, sir? Uh, no, I'm not going to be using force. The decisions made will be by uh, tools that the local jurisdictions of law enforcement can use in partnership in Ottawa, for example, with the OPP and the RCMP with extra resources to actually make sure that laws are enforced in a proportional way, in uh, uh, an approach that will be decided by the police of jurisdiction. <laughs>
demander, vous êtes député du Québec, qu'est-ce que vous pensez de l'Assemblée nationale qui dit on ne veut pas de la loi spéciale au Québec? Vous, vous pensez quoi? Je pense qu'on a pris une action qui était nécessaire et surtout limitée dans sa durée, dans son étendue, dans les définitions géographiques. Et je pense que la population appuie les mesures que nous prenons pour justement mettre fin à, à Mon cher, ce comment quand les élus de Québec disent non, non, faites pas ça, on n'aime pas ça, vous, vous êtes élus québécois? Oui, mais je suis élu québécois, donc je suis redevable. Je suis aussi député de l'Outaouais et nous savons que nous sommes à un point près de déborder euh, de, de telles choses chez nous. Donc, euh, je pense que le gouvernement a, a démontré sa sagesse et, oui, a limité euh, ses gestes. Souhaitez-vous que, le, le que, que les autorités policières au Québec aient recours à ça, justement, des situations comme Gatineau, la Côte? Mais évidemment, on, euh, on, on parle de questions hypothétiques. Nous, on traite des choses qui sont devant nous, littéralement devant nous. Et euh, je pense que le gouvernement a pris toutes les mesures nécessaires pour mettre fin aux choses qui se passent actuellement. Quand est-ce que ça va bouger à Ottawa? <rire> mais la semaine parlementaire, c'est à Ottawa, mais est-ce que vous, vous considérez que ça, ça déborde du côté de Gatineau? Ben, je, je passe à côté à chaque jour, euh, madame, d'une manifestation en appui aux manifestants ici. Donc, euh, évidemment, on surveille ça de très, très près. Je salue d'ailleurs le service de police de la ville de Gatineau. Vous parlez des farfadas, là. Oui, voilà. Bonjour, madame Spiro. Do you have any concern about the way the emergency measures act has been put in place or the actual measures in it that might be uh, some overreach? Well, we got to do what we have to do. Cannot leave these folks out there destabilizing our economy and our country. Yeah, it's, it's inappropriate and we need to take action. And then if that's what's necessary, then that's what we have to do. Can Thank I you. Can I ask you what you think of Mr. Wildbaum's uh, comment last week? We live in a democratic country and a democratic party. And so Mr. Lightbound had his right to say what he felt, and that was fine. Are you okay with it? Do you agree with it? The situation in Ottawa, the measures of urgence, do you believe that the measures of urgence will be taken in Ottawa? Do you think it will be done? I'm very positive, and I hope that it will put an end to the aux manifestations, certainement. Je n'ai pas de problème avec les gens qui sont là pour, pour faire valoir leur point de vue. Mais pour ceux et celles qui font partie des groupes extrémistes, j'en veux rien savoir. Puis on n'a pas besoin d'avoir ces gens-là euh, sur la colline ah. ou n'importe où. Ah, quand quand, quand, quand M. Legault, quand l'Assemblée nationale dit « on n'en veut pas de ça », vous, vous répondez quoi? Vous êtes du Québec, là? Éc écoutez, euh, moi, je dirais qu'il devait faire un tour à Gatineau, où on a beaucoup de... de, de euh, des, des processateurs qui sont là euh, à Gatineau dans ma circonscription. Merci. Mr. McKay, are you comfortable with the, uh, the use of the uh, uh, emergency, emer Emergencies Act? Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. 100%. No, this, is, uh, uh, this has gone from um, uh, a protest to an insurrection and, um, and it needs to be brought under control. It's brought the, the economy to its knees uh, with protests right across the border. It's a campaign of misinformation and disinformation perpetrated by, I would say, state and non-state actors. And uh, it needs to be dealt with. What do you think of Mr. Lightbound's comments last week? What do you think of Mr. Lightbound's comments last week? Well, um, I don't agree with the methodology. And I probably don't agree with the sentiments, but there's always a kernel of truth. When there's a lot of powers brought forward with an emergency act, the way it is, yes. there's also the possibility of slippage. Is there anything in what has been announced and what you've seen so far that where you see you might be concerned about how it might be used? Um, whenever you take, uh, when you uh, uh, appropriate um, extraordinary authorities to any level of government, there's always a danger. Um, uh, that's what I particularly appreciate about this particular piece of legislation is it's measured. So, your right to have a license um, question, uh, it can be revoked. Your right to have insurance can be revoked. Your right to access your financial um, situation can be revoked. Um, and that's on the first stage of things. And, um, you know, having uh, <laughs> listened to a conversation uh, of a couple of truckers uh, um, uh, while I was walking home on Bank Street, um, they get the message. Do you think it should have been 
Hmm? You think it should have been in both hands? That's, that's entirely within the, uh, the, uh, the way in which the police and the um, various levels of government operate. So that, that's, that's totally you, speculation. Did you get a message? Hmm? What, what did they tell you? What do you mean they get the message? Uh, well, they were on the phone and, and saying, uh, I don't know who they were talking to, uh, but we're staying there at the, at the lights waiting. And, um, and uh, it was... Um, <laughs> well, I, I, you know, this is a family television station, isn't it? But you got the message uh, that they, they knew they, they were having, they would be in trouble. And they knew that if people joined them on the weekend, uh, that uh, they would be warned. But we don't know how this is going to be enforced. This whole no. situation is, is a lack of enforcement. It was created because of a lack of enforcement. Well, um, as uh, Minister Blair said on television on the weekend, um, uh, the... Lack of enforcement is inexplicable. So you think yeah, they're going to move before the end of the week? Do you think they're going to move before the end of the week? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I just don't know. You yeah. mentioned the kernel of truth uh, in Mr. Lightdown. What did you mean by that? Well, um, you know, I think there are uh, um, frustrations that uh, we have probably not heard uh, properly. And, um, and uh, that has created, um, uh, you know, a, a frustration which I think is... The, the reaction is grossly disproportionate, mm -hmm. but um, uh, like everything else, there's there's always a kernel of truth in what the other side says. Well, well what Mr. Lightman was saying is that Mr. Trudeau and, and the Liberal Party have politicized the pandemic and vaccination. Is, is that the truth? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not sure that is. I think the, the truth is that the people there are a lot of people who are extremely frustrated and they don't feel heard. Mm -hmm. And um, and I, that's not. Hmm? Don't feel heard within the conference. No, no, in the public. In the public. In the public. So. Um, and I, I, I think that's a, a, a legitimate point. So, okay, take Thank care, folks. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Collins, uh, you know, John Rossard said that he was upset he didn't get a copy of the motion today before the concerns with the caucus. Well, what do you make of that? Well, look, this is extremely important that we get this right. Uh, this is uh, uh, something that's never been used before. Uh, we have had very productive conversations, and uh, certainly I've indicated to the House leaders that we're going to get this to them. Uh, as soon as possible, uh, but uh, you know we have to make sure that uh, that everything is in its proper form and order. Uh, and given the fact that these are measures that have uh, never been uh, been in Parliament before, uh, we have to make sure that uh, that we get we get it right. And that's what we're going to do. Comme j'ai dit, uh, c'est imminent. Uh, on a besoin. Oui, oui, mais c'est 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 oui, exactement. Mais c'est c'est important de s'assurer que les uh, uh, toutes les détails sont finalisés. Et uh, uh, bientôt, je vais uh, uh, je vais uh, uh, arriver ici avec uh, plus d'informations. But if you have the enforcement just beginning right now, I mean, it's just uh, yeah. well, let's 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 take a step back, okay? Uh, when the act is introduced, uh, it, there are seven days for it to come before Parliament. We're going to be well inside of that window. Uh, there will be ample opportunity for debate and for opposition parties to look at it. I understand everybody's anxious to get there. I am too. But it's essential that we get this right. We're operating well within the time frames that have been prescribed in the Act, and we will make sure that opposition parties have amp ample opportunity to take a look at this information and ample opportunity to have debate. Are we going to see the, motion on the, the first motion on the invoking of the Act before the motions on the orders, which have to come within two days? Right. Well, again, I'd be in a position to speak shortly on the, uh, on the exact order of things. Uh, right now, we're operating well within the seven-day uh, window that we have been given, uh, that the Act had contemplated. Uh, the Act contemplated these seven days specifically so that we could tailor what we're doing to the circumstances that we're in and we could ensure that what is before Parliament is in proper form. So I understand everybody's anxious, but we're operating well within those parameters, and I think everybody would agree it's important to get this right. The concern of violence, obviously the, the border blockade seems to have been looked at. We have outside of the street, but there seems to be a real, the justification behind this emergency act is the threat and concern of violence. What evidence is there to, to back that up? 
Well, I think any time uh, we, we look globally at other situations, we can see how, how these things can get out of control and can lead to bad places. What we want to be able to do is use powers to peacefully, de uh, peacefully exit these, uh, these uh, illegal uh, uh, blockades, uh, these illegal protests that are, are, t are really terrorizing this community. We want to make sure that those powers can find a way to uh, get us there in a peaceful way. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we can use measures, financial measures, measures like the finance minister and deputy prime minister has outlined, and other tactics to, uh, to ensure that this can have a peaceful conclusion. Est-ce est que c'est de plus en plus probable que la Chambre soit rappelée la semaine prochaine? Est-ce que, parce que là, la, la semaine avance, donc est-ce que ça devient de plus en plus probable que ce soit ça qui arrive? Euh, euh, c'est absolument clair qu'on a besoin de temps euh, pour les débats. Et euh, c'est important pour chaque parti, pour chaque député, d'avoir l'opportunité de débattre. Et alors, j'ai euh, parlé avec mon homologue dans l'autre parti, et euh, je suis d'accord avec cette euh, euh, position-là. Et on va négocier un temps euh, approprié pour les débats, euh, pour les débats euh, euh, complets. Look, the reason the Emergency Act was contemplated in the way that it was is when you are in a state of emergency, you need to act immediately. Uh, and it contemplates within seven days that you need to uh, begin the process of, of, of having parliamentary authorization. Uh, so both, both uh, items are exceptionally important. We have to be able to act immediately in an emergency situation with these powers. Uh, we certainly uh, also need to move within the, the, the contemplation of the act within the seven days to have parliamentary authority be extended to it. But this was all what was contemplated. Uh, this is new to all of us. I understand that. But we have to go back to what was written in 1988 and understand its framework and operate within it. Thanks, thanks, thanks for looking for insurances that are there seizing people's finances, uh, freezing their accounts, know. cracking down on crypto trails. You know, what assurances do they have that they're not going to face legal repercussions? Well, I refer you to the Minister of Justice. I, I, I'd speak more to the uh, procedural elements of this. Uh, uh, we, you see, uh, maintenant, on doit finaliser les, 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 les détails, mais bientôt, vraiment bientôt, on va uh, uh, produire les documents. Ça veut dire quand, vraiment bientôt, c'est aujourd'hui. Merci. Okay.